Republicans. Well, as the 2016 race to the White House heats up, we can't help but wonder what a change in leadership will do to job growth in the economy. Can our leaders really do anything? Our next guest is looking in the past to give us a sneak peek at what the future could look like. Here now is Travis Brown. He's the author of How Money Walks. Nice to see you this morning, Travis. Good to be back. You brought your big monitor this morning to break down uh, the politicians, potential candidates, and what they did while in office. The question that we always hear, Governor Mike Huckabee has said this, that, you know, politicians members of government don't actually create jobs. Is that the case? Well, you had Mayor Rudy Giuliani on earlier, and he talked about this incredible bench, and he's exactly right. In this case, we have rumored uh, at least a dozen folks that might uh, run for office for the President of the United States who have a jobs record as a former or current governor. That's what we're looking at here, the net private jobs created per day scored across uh, two decades. So do these governors have anything to do with the jobs coming into their state? Well, you have to argue that they do. They, how they govern really matters. We can see that in the results, uh, scoring them from the best uh, to the least uh, effective across, in some cases, 180 months. Uh, in other cases, the last four years, uh, several years uh, worth of jobs and tax cuts. All right, let's dive into the monitor here. So is this number one on the list for most jobs created while governor? In, in ranked order of the dozen governors or former governors, uh, jobs created per day, net private jobs, scoring in at the top of the list is former Governor Jeb Bush out of Florida. 1.1 million jobs over 96 months. Florida, the Sunshine State, creates 406 jobs per day while he was in office. Governor Rick Perry, we've heard a lot about this. He's touted this record across the country. Right behind him, we know Texas has created the lion's share of jobs in the last five years, over 180 months, 390 job, 97 jobs on a per daily basis. Followed by Governor Kasich. Got, Governor Kasich out of Ohio, the Buckeye State, doing pretty well. 226 jobs per day over a 50-month governing uh, option. Then we have New York coming in at about 168 jobs per day. We move to the second tier. We can look at... Uh, These are all Republicans. <laughs> yes. This is uh, the former governor of Virginia, Gilmore, followed by Mike Pence, creating 127 jobs per day. Governor Scott Walker in Wisconsin uh, doing pretty well at 103 jobs per day. Then the second tier, you're looking at uh, 91 jobs per day created in New Jersey by Governor Christie. The last four governors rumored to be in, so as POTUS hopefuls, Bobby Jindal, Mike Huckabee, Lincoln Chafee, and uh, Martin O'Malley. Ooh, so go Governor Martin O'Malley down there, uh, two jobs per day. Only two jobs, net private jobs per day. They could have done a little bit better job in Maryland. We know Maryland is an example where there was taxes raised 20 times uh, over uh, O'Malley's term. And among the, the Republicans, taxes cut? Is that the, the overarching theme of all of these guys? How you govern really matters. As a group, Republican governors in the last four years lowered taxes by $36 billion. The reverse, Democratic governors raised taxes by $58 billion. Who we elect really matters in office. Hmm. Interesting. Travis Brown, always great to see you. Fascinating stuff. Thanks, Travis.